So today is a big day. It's the last day before my big move from Nashville to Colorado to attend Karis Bible College in Woodland Park, Colorado. And today I'm just basically packing and getting ready. But if you haven't been following along, my name is Lindsay. This is my channel Through My Lens where I share videos, just faith videos about the Christian faith and my, um, you know, Christian walk, I guess you would call it. Um, also have videos kind of like Christian response to culture and also want to share videos about going to Bible college because I think I think the average Christian doesn't know much about Bible college. Um, it's not necessarily um, like every Christian's requirement to get through life or anything like that but it's something I learned about just like two years ago was trust me it was never in the plans like if you're like what's well, Bible college and like that's not for me like two years ago I didn't even know anything about Bible college but uh, me and my mom just kind of came across Andrew Womack on YouTube just like two years ago when we were um, praying a lot for healing and my mom came across some of his teachings on healing and it gave us like a lot of revelation like I've come so far um, just for getting greater understanding of what God's Word says about healing and I got to a point where I, I remember watching this girl's testimony, uh, Marin Ham. I'll link her testimony below. And basically she had Lyme disease, I think from when she was like seven or eight up until like 12 or 13 or 14, uh, something like that. Anyway, it got to a point where she wanted to um, just take a vacation. She'd been going to the doctor so much, she couldn't really walk. She was like in a wheelchair. So they went to Colorado and she ended up just happened to go to Woodland Park and they told her hey there's this like healing school down the road and she went there and they prayed for her on the way back home something happened like she just she wanted to try and stand up basically and she kind of was able to stand up next to this fence and she was like wow and then when she got back to her parents house uh, I think she got up and stood up and hugged her dad and she had been sitting like I don't know for years probably in a wheelchair and but I don't think she was like walking around so much but uh, one day she was re like a month later she was reading God's Word and I I'm not exactly sure I'll story but I'll link it below but anyway she just like I don't know if she was praying or what but she just like went from sitting down on the floor to like standing up and trying to walk and now she's she's healed completely she's walked she went to care she attended actually I think she's moving to Nashville. I don't really know. Like, I just saw her on a conference last year. But that really impacted me, her story. And I really was like, wow, I want to be in an environment of believers that can encourage and support. And I don't know, just be like iron sharpening iron, like an encouragement. And, uh, you know, living in Florida, like, it was not easy. After a while, friends came and went. I didn't have... Um, like a really good job market. There wasn't a really good job market down there. I mean, there's a lot of jobs, but the salaries are so-so and uh, the cost of living is really skyrocketed in the last two or three years there. It used to be okay, but now it's like really high, but the salaries are so-so. Mm, so so I thought, well, you know what? Like, I think my time is coming to a close here in Florida. And, uh, you know, about a year or two ago, I, in my heart was like, you know, Maybe I should learn more about Bible college. And there was so clips of people, you know, from young people to like 70s, 80s, maybe even older, you know, going to Bible college and just finding out, you know, God's will for their life. They have this kind of mission that's like find, follow, and fulfill like God's will for your life. And I'm like, man, that's what I need to do. I don't need to waste any more time trying to figure it out on my own. And yes, you can you can read God's word for yourself and pray. You don't have to go to Bible college. Um, but I want to go for the community because I feel like especially the last two or three years, community for everybody in general um, hasn't been as strong as it needs to be. And I don't really have a strong church home. I go to, with my parents. I mean, I go with my parents and I really love their church. Um, but there's not a lot of people my age there that are, I would guess, single or, you know, 20s and 30s people. It doesn't have like a young adult ministry or anything like that. I really, the people there are so amazing and they're so sweet and, and I, I really grown there in the last year, but uh, I really want to go, I just want to go to Cares and check it out and see what it's like and uh, just be in that environment. So I'm going to start the journey tomorrow. Um, subscribe if you want to follow along. I'm going to, I don't know, I'm going to try and upload like the th like each day along this trip. Um, 
I don't know if that's gonna be possible. It depends on how fast I can edit, basically. <laughs> but subscribe if you wanna follow along. Let me know down in the comments if where you're watching from. Um, if you know someone interested in going to Karis, like sh you can share this video with them so they can follow along this journey. And if you have any like questions along the way, uh, put them in this put them in the comments. And I try my best to answer questions like when I see them pop up. Anyway, I just say all that to say follow along if you want to. No pressure. It's fine if you don't, I don't care. Um, but I do care about people watching this channel. I want them to be blessed. Anyway, that's all for today. Check out the next videos coming this week as I move from Nashville to Woodland Park, Colorado. So we've got the full lineup right here. Got my clothes, just some other knickknacks, shoes, other things I might need. So this is what I'm bringing to Colorado. Um, and I have a, just a couple of their little knickknacks upstairs for the bathroom. But yeah, that's it. Gonna put that in two different cars and hopefully it all fits.